So you've been practicing the obi Ani spin with your lightsaber, but after recording yourself, it still doesn't look quite like the instructional video you learned from. Well, in this lesson, I'm going to give you four footwork tips to improve your form when performing the obi Ani spin. The saber I'm using today is the NeoPixel Acolyte from Nsabers. Get 7% off using my affiliate discount code PRIONJONI. Tip number one, have a wider foot stance with knees slightly bent. When your legs are too close together, it doesn't look as aggressive. Don't go too wide where you might lose your balance. Just go slightly outside the shoulder length and bend your knees just slightly to lower your center of gravity. Tip number two, when performing the obi Annie spin, rotate your waist to follow the direction of your spin. I know this isn't exactly footwork per se, but this helps improve not only the form, but also to avoid hitting yourself with the blade. This really works well when your stance is wide. Tip number three. This is a move I've seen Carly King do. On the side you are holding your saber on, lift your leg and bend your knees when the blade is swinging around from the rear. Be careful not to hit your legs with the blade. When you do it correctly, it should follow the momentum of your swing. This move adds dynamics to your footwork and keeps your form from looking too static. Tip number four. When adding additional moves to the obi Ani spin that require your body to turn, lift your foot opposite from your move to a tiptoe and twist into the turn. Say you're doing an additional reverse spin or a reverse figure eight, twist the foot opposite from the spin into the direction of the spin. You can also do this the opposite way with the other foot if you're performing a windmill. Leave a comment if you want to see any more Sabre tutorials. And if you find these helpful, don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon.